Hello and welcome. My name is Ben from SwitchRPG.com and this is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. And a couple disclaimers before we get started. One, this is actually going to be my first Crystal Chronicles game. I know it has a huge following over its many releases. For whatever reason, I've never had the opportunity to play one. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I also know that this is heavily uh heavily encouraged to uh use multiplayer so i'm going to try and throw some of that in here but it's going to depend on how easy easily i can do that um so i would just just bear with me um i'm gonna do my best but we'll probably start with the single player and if especially if we're able to do some uh easy matching like with just random people then uh i will probably i will probably do that for sure so let's just go ahead and get started here and of course we've i mean everybody already always reads the terms of use so oh game and any element features game blah 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 blah, blah, blah. nobody cares yep we read that Okay. And here we go. And I really do hope there's an easy way to, to do the multiplayer and you don't necessarily just have to play with your friends. Uh, I know that the local co-op is apparently not an option in this version, but at the very least, I hope you can join up randomly with some people because otherwise that's going to be that's going to be a pain in the butt so hopefully we don't have to worry about that dreaming of the stars on high that speak to me in secret sighs drifting on a breeze only can feel and hear. Hey, look at that little thing. Just getting my levels right here. And I think this version also has voice acting. Could be wrong, but if they do, no matter how bad it is, we're gonna leave it on. Because what would be the fun of uh, turning it off? I do like the graphics though. Apparently it hasn't been touched up a ton. But again, I don't have a, a huge frame of reference. Once again, I haven't played the original. But it does look pretty good. There they go on their caravan. Keeping close to the path, morning sky watch you over all. Moving over endless mountains. I feel like this game was announced like a hundred years ago and it took forever to get back or uh, for it to release. 
And especially if they didn't add a ton to it, it's kind of surprising it took so long. But I mean, easy for me to say I didn't make it. But I am very curious to see how viable single player is, even though multiplayer is definitely encouraged. I guess time will tell. Your name to be displayed during online play. It is possible to change it later. Fair enough. And we will go with... Well, depending on how many characters it holds. Oh, only seven. Hmm. Meatball. That'll work. Come, let us record your adventures in this journal. It shall be known as the Crystal Chronicles. But first, we must know the name of your hometown. Hmm. Peepa? Um. Yeah, that'll work. Let's just use the default. Meatball, hailing from the town, or the hometown of Tipa. Tipa. Whatever. The morning of my departure was here at last. I tried to brace myself for the journey ahead. There was a field along the main road where I decided to camp until sunrise. Tomorrow, I set out in search of myrrh. Let's go adventuring. You will have to collect drops of myrrh from lands far and wide to keep your crystal gl glowing. Okay. Alright, looks like everything else is grayed out. Build your caravan. You'll need a strong party to help run your caravan on your adventure. Choose up to eight members from four from the four tribes. Okay. Clavit, tribe of warmth. The Clavits seek unity and friendship above all else. They are down to earth, peaceful, and see all others as friends, no matter their background. Lilti, proud warrior tribe steeped in tradition. The Liltis once ruled the continent. Though hot headed, they're frank. I almost said freak. That wouldn't have been fair. Their frank nature makes them admirable merchants. <clears throat> okay, so we have peacekeepers. Merchants. Well, it says warrior tribe but in the top. They definitely don't look like merchants. Soft-spoken tribe, the Yuke. Huh. Interesting designs. A soft-spoken tribe of wisdom and research, the Yukes once used magic to resist the might of the Liltis. Oh. Their otherworldly physical forms are said to be simple souls that augment their magical abilities. So those are magic dudes. You would figure the small... For some reason, the smaller races are always... Are almost always magic users. So that's surprising. Selkie. A tribe of individualists. The Selkie clothe themselves in fur and stolen goods. Their almost primal agility has led many Selkies to take up a life of brigandry and thievery. Okay. All right, so I guess we are building out our caravan. And again, I have no clue what I'm doing here. But I mean, I guess it would make sense, especially with our first time going with... Going with a little bit of everything. All right, so it looks like that's just maybe the design. I thought this might be like the different like classes or so I don't even know if there's classes who knows we got cowlick can we rotate them doesn't look like we can um all right so let's go go with that one Uh, why 
why not? It's green, it matches his clothes. Select a home job. Well, it sure would be nice to know what all this stuff means. Um... I guess we'll do blacksmith, I don't know. Oh, and you gotta name them individually? Alright, so we'll, uh... This dude looks like an Abe, so that, that'll be his name. Alright. We, so we got one character. We're gonna have to do this for all of them? Oh, we're just doing one. Okay. Oh, maybe we'll meet the other ones along the way. I guess that would make more sense. Had I known that, I may have chosen a little bit diff or chosen a little bit differently. <sighs> Today, you finally step out into the world in search of Murr. Come safely back to Tippa, all right? Should you find any materials for smithing, bring them back to us. We'll forge you a fine weapon. We'll miss you. <laughs> You make any friends out there, be sure to bring them round. I oh, will eat well. Dang it. Abe, the blacksmith's son, is sent off by his father, Arian, his mother, Christy, his sister, Minty, his brother, Samuel. Try moving your caravan. Okay. I really wish I would have I would have explored more options, but I didn't realize that you can only pick one character. So. Hail, fellow caravaner. But it's okay. I think Abe's going to do a good job for us. You are the caravan from that village, are you not? I heard they were sending out a new caravan. You seem quite capable. My name is Sol Rot. I am captain of the caravan from the great fortress at Alphataria. Our caravan boasts a history that stretches back thousands of years. But let us discuss that some other time. Stiltskin, do you have a moment? Hey, it's Stiltskin. This is the village caravan. Come on, say hello. He's from... Allow me to introduce Stiltskin. He's from Final Fantasy IX, if I'm not mistaken. He's probably from other ones, too. He may not look it, but he is a seasoned adventurer. Even we turn to him for counsel from time to time. No, I'm just a Moogle that likes to get around. Wow. That's, a uh, that's an interesting I learned all voice. sorts of things in my travels before I knew it. Just doesn't seem to fit him very well. I'm on my way somewhere right now, but I can teach you a thing or two if you like. Abe, how do you reply? By the way, teach are me, you setting sir, out all by yourself, Capo? You've got a lot on your shoulders, Capo. Let me carry the crystal chalice for you, Capo. Yes, a capital proposal. Let Mog help you. Well, let's find a better spot. Hey, the more the merrier, man. Cool. Look, if you want to ask me something, come here and press the B button. Alright. What's up? What do you want to know? Tell us about the world. Our world is covered in miasma. Sustained contact with miasma gradually drains your life away. Crystals protect us from the miasma. Pounds big and small each maintain a crystal to hold it at bay. See, crystals must be purified with murder once a year or they lose their brilliance. Crystal caravanners like you journey to seek out that murder. Drops of murder gathered in the crystal chalice. Chalice not only carries murder, it also protects the caravan from miasma. The goal of your journey is to find mer trees all over the world, and you guessed it, your path to the mer trees is blocked by hordes of monsters. Because why not? 
Uh, one second here. You need to fill your chalice with myrrh before bringing it back to your village, but each tree yields only a tiny drop of myrrh at once. Well, that's inconvenient. So, you must find several myrrh trees in order to fill your chalice with myrrh. Once you draw myrrh from a tree, it can take as long as two years for it to replenish itself. Keep looking for other trees. Wow, that sounds tedious as all get out. Be ready for the second step, sure. Great torrents called the streams of miasma cut through the world, dividing it into sections. Each miasma stream possesses a certain element. Cross the stream and enter the lands beyond. You must change your crystals element to match the stream. There are full, four elements. You're trying to cross the stream. Yeah, okay. Got to match, match colors. It makes sense. But how do you change it? You place the chalice on platforms called hot spots. Doing so will change the element of your chalice to that hot spot. Once your chalice's element matches the stream you want to cross, you can cross it. And you can go back and visit it again, okay? That's now what? How do I wield weapons even though I'm holding one? Select attack from the command list, press the A button. You can unleash combo attacks if you press the A button repeatedly, repeatedly with the right timing. Okay? Alright. Seems simple enough. Focus attacks to defeat powerful enemies. Hold down the A button so you see a targeting ring. Move the ring. Release. Okay. The little skill shot, maybe? Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry, sir. Nice. Alright, that's cool. That's all I have to say about using your weapon. Alright? What do we know now? How to cast spells. Okay, in order to cast spells, you have to add them to your command list. This determines what the A button does. You can cycle through the actions. Press the Y button to open the main menu. You're already in a blah blah blah. Okay. Aside from attack and defend, you can customize the command list with any magicite or items you like. So if you want to cast spells, pick magicite. Pick up magicite while your command list has empty slots, its spells will automatically appear. Okay. Alright, casting spells, you just have to hold it down and then target it. Alright. Well, he moved when I did it. And now he's out of freaking bounds. There we go. I guess you just gotta wait until he stops moving. Oh, little pecker. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, I gotta do another one? Alright. Tell you about spell fusion. When you fuse two different spells on the command list together, they create an entirely different one. Fire, blizzard, collecting fuse. Okay. Alright, so I need to fuse it. Oh. Uh, fuse. Alright. There we go. Who knows whether that is actually better than just using the basic one. Well, I guess it depends on what they're weak to. 
All right, we get the point. I think you got it. Try using that in battle. All right. By the way, any magicide you find will disappear once you leave its native area. You sometimes find urn full of water or oil. Throw one. Throw one to spread its contents. Oil. Okay. So you have some environmental effects you can do also. That'll work. That's up. Alright. About Mog's help. While venturing alone, Mog will accompany you. He'll carry the crystal chalice for you while you're busy fighting monsters or carrying objects. If ask Mog to carry the chalice, drop it, and then press the X button. When he's carrying it, press the X button and have him drop it. You can also call him close to you by holding down the X button. Okay. Okay, so that moves your little protective barrier. So why would I need to use it? Okay. Well. Alright. Let's see what else he's got. Alright, we'll be going now. Check your diary when back on the world map. Sure. See what it says. Not far from the village, someone called to me. The man introduced himself as Sol Rocked, Racked, leader of the caravan from Alphateria. It seems that the news of my caravan had already reached them. They showed me much kindness, and a Moogle named Stiltskin gave me a lesson in combat. Okay. Is that it? Yes, it was. Alright. Cool. Read letters, review family, family relationships. Doesn't look like we have anything. Choose another character or make a new one. Friends. Okay, so I guess we need to set out. Actually, go ahead and save. In fact, I think I'll just end the episode here because I have, I have a hunch that the next one will be super action-packed may take a while i'm gonna go ahead and end it here hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like consider subscribing and i will be back with episode two very soon thanks for watching and we'll see you next time